Okay, so it's been a while since I last made a video on upcoming tech news and leaks. So I figured today I'll make one, you know, providing you with a full recap of what's happening with the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 lineup. And of course the very well anticipated Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, let's go over all of the different information that have leaked so far, you know, from different pretty legit sources, starting off with some of the baseline that we already know. And the fact that beyond having three tiers in the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 lineup, meaning the S8, the S8 Plus, and the S8 Ultra, we actually set to see more of the chipset bisection when it comes down to the platform that these tablets are going to be using. And here's the backstory. If you remember the preliminary leaks suggested a Snapdragon 888 Pro, then some other leaks suggested 888 Plus, then some other leaks suggested Exynos 2200 with AMD graphics. Then it continued to change over time, of course, because these are all leaks, right? None of this is confirmed. And in the case of the Exynos 2200, if you remember, there were some production issues and that's kind of how that one ended up not being confirmed when it first leaked. And then of course, as of a couple of months ago, it looked like Samsung has settled on the Snapdragon 898, but as of the newest leaks, the upcoming lineup will be making use of both the Exynos 2200 with AMD graphics for the highest trim, which is of course the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, and then the Snapdragon 898 for the regular Tab S8 and also the Tab S8 Plus, unlike they typically do where they reserve the Snapdragon for some markets and the Exynos for other markets. Instead, it looks like despite where you are located in the world, if you were to go for the Tab S8 or the Tab S8 Plus, you will end up with the Snapdragon 898, whereas if you go with the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, you would end up with the Exynos 2200 with AMD graphics. Again, no matter where you live. To be honest, that's actually cool with me. And according to many leaks, that Exynos chipset, the Exynos 2200, coupled with AMD graphics tech, is set to really be able to hold its own against the Apple M1 chip. That is actually some pretty serious stuff right there. And we've started seeing some Geekbench score drop. And without wanting to be a party pooper, Keep in mind what I mentioned earlier, right? So production issues when it first leaked that they were gonna do the Exynos 2200. So that is still a threat that, it, let's not call it a threat. Let's just say it's very possible that the Exynos 2200, you know, with AMD graphics comes in short supply where, you know, they don't have enough units or they don't have enough to make enough Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra to sell. So keep that in mind. Some leaks are suggesting that we may run into some shortage, but that is still set to be seen. And by the way, if this is your first time visiting and you do like the content so far, I truly appreciate that. Please do me a favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button there. Again, I truly appreciate it. Now, in terms of the release date, there are rumors that there will be a Samsung event right before the holidays. So at the end of this year, which means that if there is a reveal, then that means something is going to drop in January, right? Which we are all suspecting is going to be the Samsung Galaxy S22, meaning the Galaxy Tab S8 lineup, if it were to be revealed at the end of the at the end of the year, like they're trying, well, like the leaks are suggesting, that would mean that Samsung would be dropping the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 lineup and the Samsung Galaxy S lineup, S22 lineup. And if they were to do all of this together, that would be a massive event. And I'm really excited and looking forward to that. Another thing to anticipate so far is that they will all be loaded with Android 12 and the skin sitting on top is likely to be One UI 4.0. Again, with the plan of having all of this, you know, loaded into those devices out of the box is pretty exciting stuff. And this is very exciting stuff if it happens that this stuff is coming out the box, you know, loaded with Android 12 and One UI 4.0. I'm very much looking forward to that. Now, other than all of this, other than everything that I just said, most of the previously leaked information has remained solid, you know, in terms of a lot of the things that it shared, a lot of the things that the Galaxy Tab S8 is going to share with the current Galaxy Tab S7, you know, starting off with like the battery, which is going to be super fast charge, you know, capable, just like it is the case with this one at up to 45 watts. And 
this is the Tab S7 Plus, by the way. It is the case here, so up to 45 watt, which is not too surprising. I actually hope it would do more, but if the current one is doing 45 watt, it, the next one should at least do the same thing. In fact, the current lineup shares a lot of things with the upcoming one. If we're taking a look at the regular Galaxy Tab S7, for example, 11 inches for the size. The leaks are also suggesting 11 inches for the Galaxy Tab S8, the Tab S7 Plus, 12.4, same thing with the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. It's set to be seven, I'm sorry, 12.4 inches for the size also. And the new addition to the family, of course, is going to be the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, which is bringing a super drastic difference just in terms of physical appearance, meaning beyond all of the internals that I just discussed, you know, in terms of the chipset, that Exynos 2200, Snapdragon, all that good stuff. But beyond that, just the physical, the way that tablet is going to appear, extremely thin bezels, massive 14.6 inches for the size of that thing. And it's gonna be actually thinner than the other two, than the Galaxy Tab S8 and the Tab S8 Plus. And the battery is set to be, you know, you have some leaks saying 12,000 milliamp, whereas other leaks are having it at 11.5, so 11,500 milliamp. Either way, it's a massive battery, you know, set to support or hold the gigantic Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. And keeping in that same line talking about battery, the regular Galaxy Tab S8 is going to be loaded with an 8,000 milliamp power battery, which is the same as the current Galaxy Tab S7, like the one that I have back there. And the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus is going to be loaded with the same size as what you have on the current Tab S7, so 10,090 milliamp for the battery. Now, you have to keep in mind, even though it's the same battery, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna last, you know, the same amount of time, right? The Galaxy Tab S7 Plus here is advertised for 14 hours, I believe, battery life, whereas the Galaxy Tab S7 is 15, right? Now, with the new chipset, we don't know what battery management, you know, how efficient it's going to be at managing battery, right? So you may have the same battery size, except, you know, it lasts longer or lasts shorter, but we don't know. It's a lot more powerful chipset coming up. So we don't know how that's going to manage the battery. But either way, those are some pretty solid specs. Also, the other things that they will all have in common is the support for the Samsung S Pen, of course, the beloved Samsung S Pen. You also have quad speakers set up on all three micro SD card slot. So the expectation here is that you should be able to expand the internal storage. You also have a USB type C and these things that I'm listing should be the same, you know, across all three tablets. They all will also be sharing the same cameras so on the back. You'd have a 13 and a five megapixel camera, main camera on both the S8 and the S8 Plus, and also the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. The only difference actually is that on the S8 and the S8 Plus, on the front camera, you have an eight megapixel on both of those, and the S8 Ultra should be an eight megapixel, so that same camera along with an additional five megapixel for an ultra wide lens. I'm certainly hoping for center stage to be added to that. Apple decided to implement this year, and I absolutely love that thing, especially given that I make a lot of video calls so having center stage, which is, in case you don't know, a system that has a camera automatically adjust and, you know, either go wide or ultra wide to make sure that all of, you know, all the subjects are within the frame. So it'd be nice to have that on the front facing camera on the ultra. The same S8 Ultra is set to have an OLED display with support for 120 hertz refresh rate. Of course, you will have two tiers as far as configurations go with eight gigs of RAM with a base storage of 128 gigs and a 12 gigs of RAM if you decide to go up to the next level and grab the 512 gigs of internal storage. Now, as far as the other two go, the Galaxy Tab S8, 11 inches, TFT panel, of course, like I always like to say, you know, that LTPS technology would be the same, obviously, but this is not a TFT like a TFT you would find on just budget tablets, right? These are very well made and very well calibrated. And like I said in the past, it's pretty much a version of IPS display, except, you know, they Samsung just cannot come out and say it that way. But anyways, and you also have support for 120 hertz refresh rate on that. The S8 Plus is gonna be a super AMOLED display, just like it is a case with this one here also support for 120 hertz and both that s8 and the s8 plus will be available with eight gigs of ram if you were to go whether you go for the 128 gigs of base internal storage or the 256 gigs of internal storage now as far as price goes 
I would say take anything you hear out there with a grain of salt, right? Because everything is pretty much based off of the, you know, conversion of some of the leaks, some of the prices that appear on the leaks, right? So Samsung prices things differently depending on regions. So you won't be able to say accurately how much it's gonna cost like here in the US. So far, what we see based off of the conversion is that the Galaxy Tab S8 is gonna be starting roughly at $740. And the Tab S8 Plus is gonna be 1120, starting off at 1120. And the S8 Ultra is gonna be starting off at 1320, I believe. Uh, again, don't trust these price. This is just a straight conversion from the leaks. So nothing really confirmed there. But anyways, that was just kind of my recap on the next Samsung flagship tablets here. So what do you think is going to happen in specifically in terms of the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra competing against the M1 iPad Pro? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to get this back and forth going. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I always do. And also if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to go ahead and hit both the like and the subscribe button there. Share the video if you know anyone who will be interested in this. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I just said. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. And up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.